how to build a clean appointment booking system with WordPress step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can start building your appointment booking system with WordPress. Now, the first thing you want to do is get started with building your WordPress site if your site is still looking like this. So you can click on your plugins and click on add new over here. And you can use a starter template to get started with building your WordPress site. So you can just search for starter templates and you actually have this plugin called starter templates, Elementor, WordPress and Beaver Builder templates. And you can click on install now. I like to use Elementor to build my website. So I have already installed that. But once I've installed this, I can just see their library and just use any one of their website templates. So I want to use the Elementor one and you can see I have quite a few different templates available. Brand store, so let's say I want it to be for this one. And then this will open up the template and I can begin adding my own information, whatever kind of website that you are building. So you can choose that. This is just a sample, so I'm skipping and continuing as it is. You can change the color schemes for it as well. You can change how it appears. I'm going to go with the pinkish color scheme. Next, you also have the font layouts, how you can change those. I'm going to click on continue, skip and continue. And I'm just going to add this. Once I've done all that, I can click on submit and build my website. And now my website will be built. So this will just set your entire WordPress website up and then you can start building your appointment system. Now, let's say I want to build a style advisory appointment system. So maybe I am like a personal stylist or something like that. So I'm just waiting for this to be completed. It can take a couple of seconds, a couple of seconds to build up, but usually it just builds up in like 30, 40 seconds or like a minute. So I will get back to you guys once this installation has been completed. So now my installation is completed. I can click on visit your website to see how it's currently looking like. This is my website now and I can go back into my website dashboard to start building my booking system. Now, once I have built up my website, I can go on ahead, click on plugins and click on add new. And once I click on add new, I'm just going to search for easy bookings or easy appointments and you will actually see this uh, scheduling software called WooCommerce Easy Bookings, but this is not the one you want to use. I actually want to use this one called Appointment Hour Booking, WordPress Booking Plugin. And now you can just click on this. You can click on Install Now. And once it has been installed, you're going to click on Activate. Once you click on Activate, you can start adding your calendar. So, so I'm just going to use Booking Calendar as the name. And once I've done that, this will show a simple little WordPress uh, calendar building setting. So uh, you have your fields, which are going to be your main fields that people are going to be asked. You have your appointments, except GDPR. You have other fields that you can add. You also have your field settings. So the field labels, short labels, so on and so forth. You have your form settings, how it's going to appear. I just like to click on next step, general settings. Now in your general settings, you have a confirmation page, booking status, how it's going to appear. If it's a new booking, whether or not you book them directly without having uh, any kind of pre-existing checkings, so on and so forth. If you only, uh, you know, take accept paid bookings so you can approve them and put new bookings on pending. Then you have your global form settings, language detectors, and then you also can add payment integration settings. So product name, add payment page, and then pay later options if available. You have your next step, which is your email step. You have your anti-step, all of that. I'm just going to click on save and publish. And now what I like to add is where I want to publish it. So maybe I want to insert into a new page or you can put it into a new post in existing page, existing post in the form of a widget at sidebar, headers or footers. But I want this into a new page and this is called booking calendar, publish calendar like so. Now I can click on view the published booking form. Like so, I have my new booking form enabled. Now, and now I'm gonna go get started into actually building my form because I don't like to do that initially. It just really uh, troubles me. So I just like to go ahead, go back into my booking forms 
and you can see wordpress forms integrated into the template you can also choose to use those but appointment booking hour just works a little better with me so once i have this i like to uh just click on over here we have form number one and we can just click on rename and we can click on edit now once i have my edit section i have all of these different forms so first off i want the emails and this is the form name which i'm going to enter personal stylist booking like so now i'm going to choose the placement and it's going to be center aligned now i can use a modern template i think i'm going to go with the modern template and i'm going to save changes and continue now if i take a look at the bottom the email section has been added quite a few times so i'm only going to add it once then i have the appointment just making sure everything looks good now after that we have button labels and our other labels as well now if you find this a little complicated you can go back and go into your plugins click on add new and for easier bookings i would recommend you go with booking calendar it's a simple booking form uh, you also have wp booking system which is also slightly more simple and I do think that if you're looking for a easier version or alternate, you can use that. But this one allows you to create more customizable bookings. But if you wanted to use this, you can just get started with booking calendar. And we are just going to continue on here. And you can see it is a premium plugin. That is why it is uh, so much more easier to use. But uh, you can see over here, even on the free version, uh, we can see we have this little section. You can start building it as you want. And once you have built your form you can choose to uh, upload it so we have this little section we have change your booking and people can also do that how people want to edit it we can also integrate this into google calendar and do so much more with our booking listings but uh, if you want to actually even create booking forms using what wp forms you can click on start building and you can actually integrate uh you know our booking so you can just name it booking and you can use any of their pre-existing uh, templates or just a blank form and people can uh, ask you for bookings via email address and people can book you like so. Uh, this is something I wouldn't recommend in terms of booking simply because even if it's added into your uh, template, it's just not very efficient in managing your booking. So WP Forms is definitely the best way to go. Now in WP Forms, you can go into your appointment hour booking forms over here. You have your general settings and add-ons. You can add add-ons if you want, but we can uh, name our calendars and like so so we have the short code and all that but if you don't feel like anything is going well you can just take the initial one that you create you can clone it and then customize it for a different kind of booking as well i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video